This performance of the Scottish play employs strobe lighting effects, sudden loud sounds, and graphic stage violence. I am uh, dulling the blades because of all the burrs that occur after uh, contact during the fights so that the burrs don't snap off and fly into anyone's eyes or anything. Okay, now keep on, Seb, and do another step. Every, every kind of combat has a, a degree of danger. And now duck. The goal is to try to make it as safe as possible. Right, okay, good. I've got my nice Kevlar padding so Ian doesn't break my ribs. Although I still Very do. often. Ready? Yeah. Uh, right now we're reviewing all of the violence in the play to uh, make sure that it's in the body before we go full speed for the performance. <laughs> what we have to do is retain the spontaneity of something that we know is completely choreographed. Real stage fighting. And special effects were a big part of what, of what made a show for Shakespeare. I think stage combat is magic. It's getting the audience to believe in it, to believe in the violence, which isn't violent. That's it. Dale Girard did the best fights I've ever, I think I've ever seen on stage. No! Excellent. Teller and Aaron uh, had said that they wanted the fights to be visceral, naturalistic, violent. Well, I get killed twice in about 30 seconds in the beginning. With my sword, I'll prove the lie thou speakst. I go in and try to get Macbeth. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I get stabbed brutally. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Never win. I get killed a few times, I kill somebody, and uh, my whole family dies. <laughs> my husband. I have done the deed. And I do a lot of killing. I bear a charmed life. I have to kill so many people, it's tiring. All right, let's finish this off. Instead of just having a fight or a fighting style, we actually created this fighting style. Gotcha. Anyway. It's not uh, contemporary knife fighting. It's not classical blade play. But these are sort of like street fighting. Yeah. You know, well, that's, you're used to like, like, Aaron had also really liked the intellectual fighting ideas that the Bourne movies presented. The, th the three quick sword hits, yeah, yeah, you could have a little bit more surprise and a little quicker to it. That's good. There, see? Yeah. When we started with the Bourne yeah. with that conversation about, I love the Bourne, Bourne, movies, the Bourne movies, movies and yeah. wanting to get that thing. And it is so quick and so intense and so sharp. Brave Macbeth. Well, he deserves that name. This is a seasoned, trained fighter in any situation that comes before him. He knows how to deal with it. He's a thinking man's martial artist yeah, and, and a very high caliber. Sure. Disdaining fortune with his brand of steel, which smoked with bloody execution. Like Valor's minion carved out his passage till he faced the slave. What? Right. Yeah. It comes to life on stage really by what the actors bring to it. And I think it's also, go a little later. One of the reasons why the, the actors are so comfortable in the choreography is it really comes from them and their take on the character. Instead of saying, here is your fight, it's how would you fight? Yeah, yeah. Early on when Dale got involved, uh, he had asked us to uh, start thinking about how we, what pieces of our character we thought were important to add into the fight. 
Turn, hellhound! Turn! We talked about Macbeth and Macduff and where they are at that point in the play, and though Macduff is out for vengeance and totally angry and mad, he is an honorable fighter. My voice is in my sword. Thou bloodier villain than terms can give thee out. Good. Slowing it down that much and just making the impact larger uh -huh. makes the fight that much more visceral and dangerous. Okay. And Dale was incredible at kind of recognizing our uh, individual strengths and to kind of see where that could take us and build from. So that's where we're seeing the hooking. You actually want to react now. My advice is not to kill yourself. I like when I don't kill myself. <laughs> it's, it's an easier day. What Ian and Cody and the rest of the cast bring to it is they make it the characters taking that journey. Awesome. Thank you, gentlemen. You're welcome. Die well. I do. Indeed. The, the fight doesn't interrupt the scene. It erupts from the scene. They all make death. And damn be him that first cries holes. Enough! When I go to the theater, I want to be astonished. I want to be mystified. If in these fights we really hit each other and you see contact, the times that we don't actually hit each other, that if you're believing it, you believe that moment. Will these actors fool me into thinking that they really feel these feelings? Will these actors fool me into thinking they're fighting? And those little tricks, those things that are unexpected, give a kind of an explosion of reality, an explosion of amazement.